All right, as a great legend would say, hello, lovely, lovely people. Welcome back to another episode where we have, uh, how do you say, uh, the flat white with the oat milk. And uh, we're, gonna <laughs> we're gonna show you some of the best coffee shops here in East London. I know you loved our top five in central London, so we thought we'd take it out by notch and go to another area and show you some of the best coffee shops here. But what can we expect, Mr. Coffee UK? Well, we're gonna say something different the last time. Yep. We're gonna have, because it's summer, so we're yep. gonna have uh, iced coffee, um, nitro coffee. Yep. All coffee, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a flat white and, uh, with old milk. Of no, with old milk, yeah. And an espresso for our friend. Sweet. And uh, this is a totally different shop. So we're gonna try a Turkish coffee, a right. very old uh, coffee shop with lots of tradition, yeah. very popular. And uh, the normal coffee shops in, uh, uh, in Islam. Which you guys don't good. know either. Let's do it. But before we get into that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification button so you don't miss out on future videos and comment down below on what other videos you'd love to see and we'll make that happen. You know what time it is, let's go. I've done this take a hundred times. Run it up, big man, run it up! I'm perfectly happy. This time, we're in Athens, Greece. And you will get a view like no one. This is one of my favorite movies. Guys, so we're here at our very first two locations, Holy Shop and Coffee Matters. Mr. Coffee, why are we here? Well, Coffee Matters, uh, they opened just before the pandemic. Right. And uh, the owner is an uh, ex-barista, so I like a success story. Yeah. Uh, they have working space inside, plenty of space, obviously. I like the design. Coffee, it's amazing. And they put lots of passion. And uh, Holy Shot, it's, uh, it's been here since 2016. Right. And uh, it's a hippie place. Like, I like the vibe inside, <laughs> you'll see it. Like a hipster vibe, yeah? Yeah, hipster. Fair enough. Let's go check it out. Come on. intro this drink before to try because I'm so hot. Uh, but let me tell you right now, from face front, it is absolutely delightful. But why, why an iced coffee instead of like a nitro brew, for an example? So iced coffee normally is more um, um, a summer, morning summer drink. Mm. Um, morning drink, I mean, in the summer. Uh, so basically what you do, you, you put ice in the glass, you have your filtered coffee already done, yeah. or you can do it on spot. Yeah. Uh, normally we can do express it done. Mm -hmm. uh, pour it over ice, yeah. stir it a bit, so you can mix it homogeneously with, uh, with ice, yeah. and then pour milk over it, so you can have that really nice effect. Yeah. Now you put, you add milk as you want, it's like with the tea, as much you want, depends on the coffee. And the uh, difference between this and uh, nitro, nitro brew is, uh, nitro brew is uh, extremely cold coffee. Yeah. So I prefer to have that uh, midday in the summer, where it's like, very very so, hot because yeah. that's when you get big, a bit sluggish you know mm. like so you need the boost yeah, yeah. Uh, the nitro blue or nitro blue it's um, um it's more intense as a flavor and it takes longer to brew it yeah so this one it's quite easy it's part part done no fair enough yeah yeah I but like one it. more thing i like about this as, apart from a coffee because it's it's an experience you see yeah. so uh more than the coffee itself the architecture inside of the exposed brick the the indoor seeing as well it's just yeah. very kind of a, a relaxed environment that they've created so Come check this place out. Yeah, this is like made for uh, working people because now everyone, you know, working from home. Oh. And I think that would be the trend. You don't want to go in the office. Yeah. Uh, just nice and calm as yeah, well. Yeah, just nice and calm. Yeah. Plenty of sun, plenty of uh, plants around. Yeah. It's quiet. So it's it's a great place. And they have a downstairs area as well. If you want a bit more privacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you later. It's no nice. worries. Let's move to the next location. That's it. Let's go.
guys, so we're here at our next location, Holy Shot, all right? Uh, now, sometimes if you don't know what coffee to get, always ask the barista, they'll recommend it depending on what season and what's kind of in style and fashion at the moment. So we've got a cold brew, but this time with hazelnut milk. So I'm very, very interested to try this one. This guy, as always, flat white with a little, uh, how do you say, oat milk? Oat milk. Yes. <laughs> so why flat white on a summer's day, bro? So, I rush. I didn't have breakfast. Yeah, because I need to meet some YouTubers, yeah. obviously. So, but oat milk it fills me up. So this is my breakfast at the moment, and the coffee here is amazing. <laughs> coffee from Caravan Roasters with oat milk. Mm. Yeah. So this will be my only my only flat white oat milk today. We're gonna our next yeah. one. We're gonna be filled with coffee. If you if you miss the coffee, breakfast is coffee. Yeah. Lunch is coffee and dinner. Surprise, surprise, is coffee. Coffee. Right. Up, <laughs> <but it's> still, <laughs> What about what? afternoon tea? <laughs> afternoon coffee. Tea, coffee. <laughs> no. Coffee, what, caffeine inside. Definitely. One thing that's interesting is if you've noticed the um, the straw is actually made out of glass. Um, I'm assuming to make it sustainable. Um, but yeah, let's try this out. Hold on. It should hit you really well. Oh. You instantly, the hazelnut, you'll just taste, taste it straight away. It's amazing. How about yours? Mm. Mine is delicious. It's quite. What sweet? Fam, you need to try this for sure. This is actually nice. Mm. Yeah. I actually need this. I can't function without my flat white oat milk. Mm -hmm. Is there? Is, is there? Um, because I got used to it. Yeah. So if I don't have it, I'm, I'm moody. Even if I had coffee at home already and one on the on the other place, I'm like no. Yeah. I need my flat white oat milk. And it's similar from the last coffee shop in the sense where, like, seven double, you are working from home. Um, but you're sick of working from home and you need like, a nice quiet place they've got um, seating in, inside oh, yeah, where it's yeah. nice and peaceful. I, I've already seen a couple of people working, that's why we come outside to have, just have a conversation with you guys. Um, but yeah, it's uh, in the, the hustle and bustle, as you would say, on shortage. Uh, so come check this out and on to the next location. Absolutely, we'll go next one. More coffee to go. Guys, why not? Guys, here we are at the place called The Bridge. Now, this place is about 12 minutes walk from Old Street. And this place, this is my kind of spot. It gives me this old God's own junkyard kind of vibe. Like you got neon lights, you got the old heritage thing. It kind of reminds me like I'm in uh, them old school American bars or diner places. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. that's what it kind of yeah, yeah. gives me. But well, uh, American flag here, so. <laughs> there we go, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, we're, we're gonna have a Turkish coffee and uh, with Turkish coffee, we're gonna have baklava. So uh, what do you like about this place, bro? Oh, it's, it's the vibe, the history. Um, this, the, the owner here has been for like more than 17 years or more than, more than that. Uh, I've been be here before in this place. Uh, we had dinner together. An interesting, uh, interesting character, very nice person. Uh, and he showed me the place around that they have different levels. They have the roastery just down here, probably you saw it earlier. Okay. And uh, they have a band, they sing it every night till about three o'clock midnight. So after party, this place, you can have <laughs> coffee and buzz and uh, on the music. Um, yeah, so uh, Turkish coffee is my first time when I actually have it uh, um, proper, the way traditional Turkish coffee, they do it over the sand. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to try for a long, long time, but um, they couldn't do it last time because it's a lockdown. So yeah, this will be 100% Arabica, very strong. Mm. 
this will keep you going. And you have, you have to have it with the fresh baklava, which is a honey nuts. Yeah, that's it. All right. I hope you can enjoy it. Let's try. Yeah, the let's first try. time for both of us. Just a bit of zip. Let's, this is yeah, stuff yeah. for you. Cheers. Cheers, man. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty strong to me. It's a very strong after chef. Fucking dare say coffee is coffee. I will kick your left. Coffee is not coffee. I would like to rectify this. <laughs> Before I was an amateur. I'm not a pro now, but you're getting pro. I'm, get, I'm getting. I'm getting there. But yeah, coffee <laughs> is not coffee. Retract that last statement from the last video. So move it on. Oh, this is. This is good. Very strong actually. So after you zip it, so the, the, the way it should taste, taste it, the well, way it should, yeah. should like zip it like this, fast, it goes in the back of the throat, okay, okay. and you will feel after the, the how big it is. It hits you more. Yeah, it hits yeah, you I'm more, and yeah, yeah. it has a strong after mm. after this. Yeah, the, the taste stays in your yeah, in the taste mouth. Yeah, and that's why you need to have um, uh, sweets after with this. Yeah, you've got to. Our culture, Turkish culture or mm. European culture, mm. um, ladies can guess your luck in the coffee cup when you do coffee. Like, do what? guess yeah. your luck? Uh, yeah, yeah, like future, you know. Like, oh, sh oh, oh, you're gonna be very successful, you're gonna marry them, like, it's good for a woman. No, like that like palm readings and stuff. Like, huh? Like when they read your palms, yeah, it's like that for coffee. It's starting to same, yeah. Mm. yeah. So, look. Can so you read it? Yeah, I was gonna be very successful. <laughs> I knew it already. I'm influencing the cup. There you go. <laughs> we already know, so mm. here you go. So that's how that's that's what the Turkish coffee is. It's oh. a tradition. It's actually like the tea. Strong, strong stuff. Yeah, man. This will, this will wake you up, man. Turkish people are strong people, so. Not if you're mouth. <laughs> Nothing wake this guy up, man. Guys, so we're here at our very next location, Hermanos, based on Columbia Road, next to Columbia Road Flower Market. So why we're here, very, very simple, 100% pure Colombian coffee, all right? So we're gonna keep up with the trend of iced coffees. This one's called a La Pradera Hoppers Iced Coffee, all right? So how it's made, iced espresso and all the flavors in between, all right? I've tried this out way before the shot because I was so damn hot. Mad respect to her because it's mad hot inside as well. So I'm just gonna try it once for the camera and say, Ugh. Bang in. <laughs> so come check this place out. It is an amazing coffee shop, especially if you want to cool down uh, with the summer outside. On to the next location. guys so we're here at our very next location in Bethnal Green this time around called the Beehive so this is what we're all about supporting local businesses and this particular one is a non-profit organization all right so what we've got from these guys is an iced Americano all right just to balance out the amount of strength of coffee we've had today from espressos the double shot espressos um, so an Americano is made with uh, half a glass of uh, cold water mixed with a shot of espresso and this 
it's a banger. Um, so this is actually inside uh, Paradise Gardens. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little place to kind of just chill out around four or five o'clock where it's just nice and quiet, empty. Uh, we were filming on a Monday, so a lot of people are at work at the moment. So if you're around the area, come check this place out and to me for the outro. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. And comment down below on any future videos you'd love to see and we'll hopefully make that happen. You know what time it is. Three Man Abroad out and peace.